Former President Clinton brought his message of global citizenship to the Bay Area today. He wrapped up his speech at UC Berkeley just a short time ago. So what exactly is global citizenship? ABC 7's political reporter Mark Matthews is live from Berkeley tonight with the answer. Mark. It was an interesting speech. He told a packed audience here at Zellerbach Auditorium that the most important question is one that rarely got asked in his White House. Most of the time I was in politics, we debated three things. What are you going to do? Who's going to do it, public or private sector? How much money are you going to spend on it? Former President Bill Clinton says he now believes the most important question of the 21st century is the fourth question, how? However much money you have, whatever it is you propose to do, how are you going to do it so that you turn your good intentions into positive changes? Clinton says in the non-governmental area, there are immense opportunities that never existed until now. Look at what happened after the Haiti earthquake occurred. First, you had uh, George Clooney and others putting together this amazing concert, Hope for Haiti, in no time. They put it together in a week, and it raised $66 million. A lot of it in $10 pops because you could text Haiti into your phone and one number and automatically $10 would be transferred here or five bucks in Canada. Amazing. And people wanted to give time. All of a sudden I had teams of doctors from New York where I lived calling me saying, I can only stay five days, but send me down there. Clinton says global communication has enhanced our abilities and global interdependence has made it a necessity to be involved. Anaya Roy is chair of the Global Poverty and Practice Program at UC Berkeley. So I think the most important thing he said today here at Berkeley was that it is possible to think of a new moment of communitarianism. Will Smelko is student body president. It makes me realize that there's so much validity to what he's talking about, and, and it makes me inspired to go and do something. Now, the former president spoke here today at the invitation of Richard Blum, UC Regent, the husband of Dianne Feinstein. And tonight, Blum and pr former President Clinton are over at the Fairmont Hotel at an event for the American Himalayan Society. They are there, I assume, raising money for that cause that Richard Blum has been so involved with in the past. Reporting from UC Berkeley, Mark Matthews, ABC 7 News.